Hi there, this is Brad Bollinger, founder of Swatch Deck. Thanks for downloading Swatch Deck. This is a f intro video so you can figure out how to use it and why you would. So I just downloaded the app. I'm gonna open up my screen. Enter your nickname and an email that you want to link Swatch Deck to. This should be linked to the mail app on your phone or your pad or your pod device. For this video, I'm just gonna hit skip. And remember, when I hit skip, I'm not linking any of the swatches that I'm creating here to any account. So if I lose my device, then I lose my swatches. So this is my first screen. Uh, I'm going to tap on the top there, and I'm just going to type in a new house. I'm going to call this house A, and this can be an address, a customer name, whatever you like. And then the plus with the three swatches in the vertical there, that is my add swatch room. Now it's going to ask me to name the room and uh, let's do an exterior. Perfect. There at the bottom you can see that uh, it says tap here to add a new swatch. So this is going to open up what we call the swatch drawer. These are all the different ways that I can create my swatches. Once you get good with the app, you can press on the minimize and you can bring it down. You already know what the functions are, but for this video, of course, we just downloaded it. We're learning how to use it. The search function automatically starts at all, all. If you tap on the alls, then you get your spinners here at the bottom. And we've got a couple of different things in here and uh, we'll be adding more as we move through the years, but we're just gonna play with paint colors today. And you can see that we have lots of different paint manufacturers listed. RHs, Restoration Hardware. Uh, if I go to paint products, then I can look at different paint products from some other manufacturers. Same with siding, we've got James Hardy on there. Uh, but we'll go back to paint colors. Now with the paint colors, I can limit my manufacturer or I can just search by all. And then I can tap just a or search for maybe green, maybe green with the Y-E. Oh, there's nothing there. So what if I just type in green? I wonder what we'll find. Probably a lot of different greens. I'm sure there's thousands. So uh, this brings me up to my uh, search screen. Now I'm able to scroll to the left or the right. If I want to tap on any swatch, it'll open up. And I can see there that there's the tap swatches to keep exploring. I have, can tap on the logo if I want to go to the manufacturer's website. I'm going to hit cancel. If I want to keep looking through some more yellows and greens. Yeah, you know, I like that one. So I'm just going to use it. So now I've added my first swatch. If I open up my swatch drawer again, an image swatch takes something that you've taken a picture of or you want to take a picture of and we'll create a swatch. And I've got this screenshot that we did earlier of a tile piece. And that's gonna add that. Now, we'll go keep going here. The match function can take a photo and we're gonna match something. So we'll take that same screenshot we just took now I can tap on that manufacturer on the top of the screen and I can scroll through my spinner and choose which paint color uh, company I want to go to. And if I just tap on the screen, depending on where I tap, you'll see that there's a bar on the bottom. If I tap on a color, then I can see what color is closest to wherever I touched. Maybe I want to go to a different manufacturer's colors. Tap on the screen again. Perfect, use swatch. That's the match function. Now the palette function is really cool as well. This is our, our rapid fire paint swatch color picker. So with the, the palette function, it's gonna take averages from a photo and lets you pick a few. And then if you don't like a color, then you can take it off. And you can do the same thing here. You can flip through your different paint manufacturers. This works great if you're trying to pick color out of uh, a chimney, bricks, or like maybe a piece of backsplash in your kitchen. Uh, now I'm going to add another room. And we'll call this living room. I can push down on a swatch, bring it over, 
and copy it to room to room. I can also resize by doing a pinch to zoom. And then I can also reorder swatches. One couple last ones. If you ever have a uh, custom match color, and we'll just pretend that what I'm going to take a photo here is maybe a piece of trim. Let's see. Whoops. So I got my piece of trim. This is harder than it looks. Well, not a very good picture. <laughs> so there's my, my piece of trim there. If I tap on anywhere on the screen, you'll see that the RGB color on the sides changes. So depending on what I'm trying to match, I can either use the image, the button on the left, or I can use color, which is the square on the right. Use color. Now I've created a custom swatch of my match here. Done. What I just opened up was the swatch editor. I just tap on any swatch. I'm going to, I tapped on the whales green on the top. And this opens up the back end of what that swatch is. I can tap on the label there, and now I can snap a photo of a label or maybe a pricing tag or anything else that I want. Uh, then I can tap on the notes there, and then the notes, basically, I can capture any notes that I want, anything that's important about the product. Now, I can add another house by touching on the plus with the house, and we can call it house two. And now we can just repeat the same, same order over and over again. If I tap on the, the square or the plus there, then that opens up my help videos. I can also share all of my swatches through an email. And with the email, you get a nice template. And it looks small there, but it'll actually go over uh, very nicely, maybe to the paint store or to your friend who likes the paint colors or tiles that you're using in your house. Um, but that is the very brief functionalities of Swatch Deck. Uh, for more information, check out our website, swatchdeckapp.com. You can always contact us at contact at swatchdeckapp.com. And my name is Brad. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you soon. Happy swatching.